It's vital that the authorities in Bahrain scrupulously abide by international standards. People should not be arbitrarily arrested. They should not be detained without clear evidence that they have committed a recognized crime. Um, we would stress that obviously demonstrating peacefully is not a crime. Giving an interview to a journalist is not by any stretch of the imagination a crime and nor is reporting human rights abuses. People should not be beaten or otherwise physically abused by security forces. Injured people should not be prevented from receiving medical care and there are continuing report, reports uh, that this is happening. We deplore the reported killing of dozens of peaceful protesters last week, uh, including uh, by, apparently by snipers shooting from rooftops. We note that these killings have been condemned by members, some members of the government and the army, some members of the army in Yemen. And we also note the call for an independent investigation into the killings, uh, particularly those during the protests at the University of Sana'a, which was the, the very big event when uh, around 50 people were killed. All such violations of human rights must indeed be investigated by independent and impartial mechanisms. We are greatly concerned by the recent killings of protesters in Syria and reiterate the need to put an immediate halt to the excessive use of force against peaceful protesters, especially the use of live ammunition. We urge the Syrian government to enter into a broad, meaningful dialogue with the protesters in an attempt to address the grievances they are voicing. The government should also carry out an independent, transparent and effective investigation into the killings of the six protesters during the events of 18th and 20th of March.